I'd like to uh, introduce the next uh, keynote lecture, Dr. Hiroshi Yoshida from Japan. Dr. Yoshida is uh, Executive Deputy President at Chemical Routing Corporation Limited in uh, Tokyo. His expertise is about formation engineering, soil improvement, uh, etc. But today he gives us uh, a list, uh, lecture about geotechnical environments. Thank you, Dr. Kun Dagdong, and all the people who have been preparing for the conference. I'm much honored to have the opportunity to make a presentation in such as the respective international companies. <coughs> Problems associated with global warming and population growth have become ever more serious. The methods to cope with these problems are in strong demand in many countries. This is a table of, of the environmental measures to be improved in Japan. Given the reality, I'm going to discuss some initiatives taken in Japan and their effects. As I'm sure that you know, the nuclear accident following to the great earthquake on March 11th has caused a major environmental disaster and it will greatly increase over Japanese environmental policies in the future. This is what I'm going to discuss today. Japanese status in air pollution, in water quality, in sun, in soil environment, and in waste generation. Then, about the effort in Japanese construction industry, particularly in jet grouting, which is one of soil improvement technologies in foundation engineering. And finally, the current situation of the environmental contaminated caused by the nuclear power plant accident. First, I'm going to talk about uh, air pollution in Japan. We had serious health <laughs> problem in 1960s caused by air pollution in Japanese industrial cities. Kawasaki disease and Yokai disease are such diseases named after the city where the problem occurred. Japanese government deeply regretted this incident and set up regulation and uh, every industry made efforts against air pollution that has resulted in great improvement in the situation today. In many cities, contamination levels were major. They were lower than that of the environmental standards. However, the, the achievement led to be within the port cancer oxidant limit is still slightly low. In this figure, blue square marks show that the total number of days that warning were issued to resident per year and orange mark show that the number of people who reported damage. Overall trend for both the total number of days and times of warning issued are decreased. Presently, boring allergy and heat stroke are more serious than what chemical oxidant in Japan. The amount of pollen fly from winter to spring 
and planning for heat stroke in summer are uh, everyday news. This figure shows annual greenhouse gas emission in Japan. The vertical axis is for the amount, and the horizontal axis is for the critical year, the amount and continue to rise until about 27, but began to decrease from around 28. We came to recognize the seriousness of the impact of the global warming to mankind, for one thing, and the continuing effort by Japanese industries are compared with Kyoto Protocol or another, seem to give a positive result. This figure shows the emission of carbon dioxide by sectors with critical years in the horizontal axis and the amount of emission in the vertical axis. Also, the decreasing trend is notable in industries and automobiles, effort for office buildings and individual houses seem to be still insufficient. The improvement in energy saving in offices and houses reduce the emission of carbon dioxide since the critical year 27 and consequently it led to previous deferred overall reduction in carbon dioxide intervention. However, from the physical year 2011, setting from nuclear power plant, which produced extremely low CO2, to thermal power plant in energy sector, is concerned to increase the overall emission of CO2. This figure shows the water environment in Japan, the horizontal axis is for the critical year, and the vertical axis is for the excess percentage over environmental standard for nitrate, nitrogen, arsenic, ruling, and VOC, and D. As you can see from this figure, the exceeding rate over the environmental standard in groundwater or, or nitrate, nitrogen, and nitrate, nitrogen tend to, the, to be high. The overuse of chemical fertilizer in agriculture um, and the developed handling in cattle manure in dairy farming cause significant impact. To solve these problems, need to need still more time. Arsenic look exceeding the environmental standard in this figure, but it is due to the change in standard from 0.05 mg per liter to 0.001 mg per liter in 1994. The same for human environmental protection is little below the standard, standard, although it's a problem that achievement rate is 53% for chemical oxygen demand in lakes, further effort to spread sewer and to clean the lake bottoms, keep the low trend in the future. In regard to Japanese soil environment, all factory sites began to develop along with the relocation of the factory from city to local areas, and contamination in all factory sites began exposed and caught along with the enforcement of the Soil Contamination Countermeasures Act. 
This figure shows the critical year in horizontal axis and the number of cases in the vertical axis. Blue bar is indicate in investigated contamination being within the standard limit, and yellow bars indicate the contamination being over the limit. The figure shows that the contamination becomes evident with abundant factories, factories getting developed. But since about 28 fewer cases of contamination have been identified as the number of the development of all the factory sites began stable. As shown in this figure, the number of contaminated sites is rapidly increasing after the law went into effect <coughs> in 22. The contaminants are VOC, a dream solvent in factories, heavy metals, hexavalent, chlorine, chlorine, boron, aluminium, and selenium in order of frequency of cases. Most contamination stayed within 10 meters deep in the ground, but VOC penetrates much deeper. The area of the contaminated area is mostly less than 100 square meters, depending on the size of the factories. Please see the graph in the paper. This figure shows that preventive, uh, preventive measures in the horizontal axis and the performed numbers in the vertical axis. Some measures are taken after the soil contamination becomes evident. As shown in this figure, excavation and removal is the most common method. It's because the purpose of the remediation being the development of land, the quicker remedy is more important even with higher cost. Excavation and removal, which was an aspect of being stringent in the standard, are also aspect of being scattering the contamination and expensive. Therefore, institute remediation methods are wanted in many cases <coughs> and the development of low cost Institute remediation system is highly anticipated. A view that is unavoidable to generate waste on one life might increase environmental impact by inefficient use of finite resources and landfill of these waste. Mankind could plan to environmental destruction in cool feeling because of convenience. This figure shows the future projection of world waste generation. The vertical axis shows the amount of waste generation. It will be required to drill then within the site from an environmental stand, standing point. At the discharge materials hardened by cement content, method to utilize hardened materials in the site have been adopted when treated inside. But because of limitation in this method, where to reuse the material were they built. This figure shows one step method in which cement is added to the discharge material and used as a grab. The first grafting job is carried out in the same way as a conventional method. 
The second grafting job used the discharge material during the jet grafting added with cement. The two-step method first pre-excavated the ground, then replaced the excavated ground with a mixture of soil and cement. This figure shows the concept. In this way, clay water gel pre-excavated the ground to protect from corrupting, then a separate drilling equipment used to replace a mixture of clay and soil with a mixture of cement and pre-excavated soil. Please refer to the paper for the result of the experiment of the two systems. An appropriate system is chosen depend on the site condition. This figure shows the, the amount of carbon dioxide generated by each jet grout. On the vertical axis and the type of jet grouting on the horizontal axis. JC means the new jet grouting in this figure. The upper half of the bar are the amount of sedimentation to be treated. The bar on the far right in the same in case for the use system. As shown here, the amount of CO2 generation is reduced by 20 to 30 percent when recycled. Now to our last topic, soil purification technology in Japan. The Ministry of Environmental established the guideline for surveys and measures for soil and groundwater pollution in 1999. And in 21, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government set a regulation on environmental preservation which required business operators to make the pollution less than reference level of soil Contamination Countermeasures Act by following the procedure such as shown in this figure. So when the business operators find the contamination of soil or groundwater, they have to report the facts to the administrators while conducting research and planning the measures. This process is not only guided by the administrators, but obliged to be released to the public. After carrying, or carrying out the measures, the results are reported to the local administrator's office. In Japan, vacant land of relocated action, uh, relocated factories, and construction in activity developed. The cost of the measures to remediate the contaminated land is reflected in the land development prices. Since Japanese environmental standards are hard to achieve and the land development are required prompt action, the remediation measures shown in this field. Excavate, excavate and remove contaminated soil within broad to cement factories as for a final disposal. And incinerated green soil replace removed contamination contaminated soil. Considering the cost effectiveness the land to the which excavation removal method is applicable has been developed. However, falling land prices 
and sluggish economy in recent years have increased the demand for the less exp expensive remediation method. Besides the bad impression given to excavation removal, which is one aspect scattered the contamination. This technology in this figure shows the generation, uh, general type of preventive measures. They can be divided broadly into contaminant and purification. The purification has two types, inch purification and excavation removal. The contaminant uh, the containment and each purification has the uh, advantage of the low cost. Please refer to the paper for these technologies later. In searching for low cost and more reliable method, biological purification technology has become prominent in Japan. This technology purify the soil by applying the microorganisms in the ground. Although a long time for purification is a short coming, they are highly valued as eco-friendly technology. This is classified, classified the bioremediation method at on-site and off-site based on where the purification is performed. We usually choose on site. We also have two methods in the respect of microbial utilization method. One is biostimulation with purified contamination by activ act activating the microorganism. And the other is micro-augmentation. It purifies contamination by adding microorganisms from other places. The microorganisms are classified into two types, aerobic and anaerobic, based on the atmospheric environment in which microorganisms sleep. The aerobic degradation is used when contaminants exist up to the groundwater level. Otherwise, air is injected, but VOC usually lies under the groundwater level, and it requires an aerobic degradation in the cases the soil is deeply polluted. The application of the hard colloids, <coughs> which can dec decompose VOC, is increasing as the extended application of its use in sure, but we have to carefully verify the application because it has only begun recently. We have to evaluate the environmental problem which should have been affected by the Great East earthquake. The nuclear power plant has contributed to the reduction in carbon dioxide emissions, but the energy policies are both to be changed. We have not yet come up with a future vision, which includes <coughs> nuclear plant, but Japan must go for the solution. The use of Natural energy is widely talked, but huge energy policies to ensure the nation long term development will be discussed from now on. I think the pollution by radioactive cesium is more serious. This is a figure of radiation distribution monitored by air. It, the, the, it represents the total concentration of cesium-134 and 137 on the ground surface. The white hat is where the nuclear power plant is located. 
that the activity in the red zone is over 300,000 backgrounds per square meter. In the most of the zone, within the radius of 80 kilometers, the large activity exceeds 60,000 backgrounds. You can see that the area exceeding 10,000 backgrounds is quite broad, having the polluted area wider than expected. We have not yet found the best method to remove the session, which has the half time, half life of 30 years. Then the, the contamination of the polluted area is the major problem of, for the Japanese future. In closing my presentation today, although it's uh, just a, a beginning, I have introduced some of the efforts that Japanese public and private are working together throughout building a recycling-oriented society. I am much grateful if my presentation will be informative and assist your understanding of current situation of Japan. This concludes my speech. Thank you very much for your attention. Mr. Hoa, uh, Chairman of the Organizing Committee, for us. Thank you very much.